Importing new leads to NetSuite with the Smart Client is easily accomplished. We'll use the Add Records Template Wizard to set our number of initial rows and give our new template a name, in this case, Add New Leads. Once we've given it a name, the wizard will present us with a list of fields that we can use in the template. We'll choose those appropriate for a new lead, such as company name, email, and phone. And it's important to include both the stage and the entity status fields when creating a new lead. For entity status, we want to choose free text validated on send. We don't want to use the default drop-down menu. We click Next and click Finish. Here the template is ready to accept data. Now, typically in these scenarios, you would have new leads probably coming from an external source, so we've mimicked that here. We're going to copy these five example leads and paste them into our template. And notice we didn't paste them in the farthest left column. We only used them in the named columns. And that's because we reserved this one on the farthest left for the internal ID. For the drop downs, we're going to choose lead and then just copy and paste those. For entity status, we'll type the value new one time and then copy and paste it into the rest. And at this point, we can use the Update All button to have these leads added to NetSuite. Five records were successfully added. Off to the right, we have a Search Leads Worksheet. And we can use the Search button to invoke the Search Wizard. We've pre-built one here called Search New Leads, but it uses the same result template. And so the columns are all going to look identical. Now in NetSuite, we'll go look at the Leads queue by going to Lists, Relationships, Leads. And we have a custom view on the bottom called Today's Smart Client Imports. We can see here that the new leads are all listed in NetSuite as expected. Now it's important to note that over on the right, the status for the lead is Lead-New. And if you mouse over Setup and then go to Sales, and then customer statuses, you'll notice that the actual value is just new, not lead-new. It's very important that when we add the value to the entity status, that we use the values as you see them here, and without the prefix. Now in this example, we're going to use NetSuite's built-in inline editing feature, and change these from lead-new to lead-qualified. So now that the values have been changed, we're going to return to our spreadsheet and we're going to repeat the search that we just ran. Entity status is lead-new and we update our search and lo and behold it shows lead-qualified. 